there's a there's a great history of lost wolves in this area. Jim O'Malley, you know, was one of the, the giants. He was a great mate of Bob's and they spent a lot of time showing together, travelling together, and we won't ask Bob to tell any stories now about some of those trips. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> we know. That's it at all. <laughs> so um, this is Brady's hen. Now it's a hen rather than a pullet. So the, the, We'll have a look at uh, say of those notes there. Uh, we'll take that box first, the body, and that's what a, that profile is really important in an ostelor. You know, it's a, it's a bird of curves, and there's a bit of a trend at the moment to have sort of the head, the neck come down and sort of go straight up like that, and that's the standard, and that's what they should look like. And this one here, it's got a nice curve to its back. It it's the most points, you know, so you can see how many points the, the um, body is worth. And they say it should be from here to here as deep, nearly as, nearly the same length as, you know, it's nearly the same measurement as that length. And um, it, um, so there's a bit of a balancing act, you know, you want that curve, but you don't want to look like a boomerang. But on the other hand, you don't want a hen that's sort of so deep and sort of straight back. Um, I've, I've picked her out, it's a bit cheating in a way, because it's, it's a hen and it's been clucky and its plumage is not great. And so in the plumage part where you can see the, um, the points there, she's pretty good actually. She uh, hasn't got white tips, which is a fairly common fault in, um, in ostelorps and one you sort of, it's a bit hard to Guard against that, so she's pretty good like that. Um, Can I ask the, the white tips develop as they get older, or is that something no, you see one size? Is that white tip there? There's a really, really, very small white tip, and it wouldn't be, um, <laughs> it wouldn't be it's a sort of a major fault, but it's something that. If this bird was going to be judged for the supreme champion of the show, they'd probably look at that so well, that might be the, the little ah. point that sort of knocks it off the top run. That's been black ostrel, not black and white one. What happens with um, what happens with ostrel or chickens, they're sort of white and black and then they get sort of you know, more black, more black, more black, and the final malt should be all black. Now, um, the, the feet are real important, and I remember Terry and I talking once about a judge pulled out a um, bird from the pen, and it had black on the soles of its feet, and he more or less threw it back and didn't judge it again. And um, basically, if you look there, the legs are worth five points. So he's sort of saying well, that half, that one fourth, meant that he wasn't going to continue looking at that bird, which is a, which is a problem. Um, the other thing it should be, this one here, the legs aren't too bad actually for its age, but they call, talk about a vein of type, and it's sort of a, you know, if you're looking at it that way, it's sort of, the leg's supposed to be like that, it's not ridgy, and so that's a bit of a fault with um, ostrilorps, you know, sometimes they're ridgy. This one's a little bit, but it's getting on a bit, and maybe it hasn't had a lot of WD-40 poured into its scales you know, to, to make sure it's, the legs are in good nick. Um, now the head of an ostelorb is worth a, is worth a lot of points, and this one's got a pretty good round eye actually, and a, an eye on an ostelorb's worth 10 points, and some you know, in the past, people have been so involved with the eye that they've lost the sort of shape of the bird. This one's not too bad. It's got a little bit of a brow to it. And, you know, this is sort of a small brow. It's supposed to be a smooth face. And it's supposed to be very fine skin, fine as you can get it. And that part there between the feet and the eye is supposed to be full, you know, not sort of dipping in. Um, the beak's not too bad, actually. That's a pretty dark beak. Now the comb, the comb is supposed to have between four and six serrations. So, one. 
Now there's a small point there, see that yeah. point in the back? That's not great, but it's sort of a minor thing. But if you look at the points of the cone and the wattle here, then you sort of add it together and it might take away, it might take away one point if you if you were me. The cone is supposed to follow the neckline, which it does pretty well. It's not supposed to stand up like a lamb shank or rest on the, the back of the neck. So, <laughs> so, yeah, I'm really sorry. <laughs> so, 